How is it going guys? Thanks for joining us once again. Uh, today I'm joined by Lee. Hey. Uh, we're drinking some Alchemist beers today sent to us by our uh, buddy Steve uh, from BBC. BBC. Amazing, amazing human being. But uh, yeah. He's the king of beer mail. <laughs> yeah. Another beer. Oh, for sure, man. That guy is <laughs> stupid good. But <laughs> he knows how to do beer <laughs> mail as well. Uh, but yeah, this is another beer from the Alchemist. This is a luscious British Imperial Stout, and I can just say from the... I'm hyped to try this. Uh, that's We're so lucky. Good. But 9.2% alcohol by volume. Imperial Stout should be pretty damn good. After that heady, um, I got high expectations. Oh, well, look at that appearance. That is fucking beautiful. Uh, finger and a half, just beautiful, fluffy, deep brown kind of head. Pretty much pitch black body. <laughs> oh, that's good. Just, yeah. Malt, molasses. Yeah, molasses for sure. Big vanilla. Vanilla. Oh, vanilla. Yeah. Huge vanilla. Big on the vanilla. I made a cheesecake with uh, pure vanilla beans the other day, and that's what I'm getting off of this. It's got a very creamy kind of aroma, you know? I'm not getting coffee, though. <sighs> Maybe a hint. But it's more like dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, yeah. Dark chocolate, molasses. Really, uh, at the moment, I prefer not having too much coffee on my palate, you know. So I'm really excited to try this. Based on the aroma, it should be pretty fucking good. Cheers. Cheers. Not too shabby. <laughs> uh... Tons of dark fruit. Licorice. Kind of getting licorice and fig. Fig, for sure. Mm, that's, that's really nice. That is, I like the mouthfeel. Yeah, it is. It's that silky smooth. Yeah, silky smooth. Uh, sticky lips. Yeah, very sticky right away. Big sweetness to the beer. Heavy mouthfeel. Yeah, very heavy. I like that. That is something I could drink all the time, you know. Just the mouthfeel, the sipability, the pungent, like, uh, dark flavors. It kind of reminds me of a bourbon almost, or like, mm. something like that. Or reminds me of it, doesn't taste of it, you know. It doesn't so, taste um, of it, but yeah, I understand. It's got that really intense kind of flavor. There's a spirit quality to it, but no. But at the same time, alcohol. it's like soft and it yeah goes down like pretty smooth. I get alcohol or like spirit flavors, like bourbony kind of flavors mm -hmm. in the background there, but no booziness whatsoever. That nine percent is just completely gone. Slight, slight warming. It's very slight. like in the throat. Mm -hmm. Slight, very slight, but no. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's phenomenal. Very good. Super complex beer. That's got just layers of flavor. There's smokiness to it as well. Mm -hmm. Like, this like meaty kind of character, you know? It's fruity, it's really fruity, like fruity, like dark fruits, lots. I'm getting the molasses. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the licorice. <coughs> Burps well. <laughs> Mm. Oh, this is good. That, that's super smooth and yeah. real stout. No harshness whatsoever. Yeah. That is very, very good. You could drink more than one of these. Yeah, you could easily drink like this plus maybe two more. Two more, yeah. A person. Oh, yeah. You know? Fucking really good. That is awesome. Thanks a lot, Steve. This is really good stuff. On a rating, I'd go like uh, 96. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah. right there. Like A, low A plus yeah. kind of rating. Yeah, that <laughs> phenomenal stuff. Very, very good. Uh, luscious Imperial Stout from The Alchemist. Thanks a lot, Steve, once again, for sending Thanks. this one out to me. Uh, 
and thanks everyone for watching. 96 from the pair of us. Um, great stuff. Great stuff, yep. Yeah. yeah, that is a really damn good beer. Thanks uh, a lot, yeah. Steve. Cheers. Have a good one.